for the family get on news report mayor dad swinney mayor of the league today is thursday thursday in my city chicago uh december the 16th sweet 16 so they say 2021 i'm at my trap building 6210 south kim bargain in chicago no 606 37 part me 308 don't knock on this door i am no whore you understand what i'm saying now, i believe oprah winfrey may have been a little more than you know people you know looked up to her to be i try to make her special but of course you know some people just ain't you know ready to be that real motherfucker and shit that you Try to get them to be on whatever and stuff. So long story short, she was looking around to try to get about her whatever situation she was in. I believe this. And she took the bait like a lot of people doing in my city, Chicago. You know, as far as me um, being uh, the originator of rap since the age of 8, 1975. This is not a joke. This is not a game. Don't fucking goddamn um, act like I'm a damn fool when you know I'm not. Um, I was in Chicago Sun-Times newspaper at age 6 in 1973. I don't know if Oprah knew me before. Um, you know, I presented my child abuse rap to her, but nothing happens in this world by mistake. And I pretty sure, you know, we must have some kind of encounter or whatever, because the higher power and the spirit don't lie. Long story short, I started my, um, journey as far as being a salesperson for real, for real with $40. That's the honest guy's truth. It was a general assistant check that we was getting back in the day or whatever and stuff. It was a hundred some dollars or whatever. And you know, some told me to take $40 from one of them or whatever and stuff and invest it in general merchandise. I sell, sold a lot of stuff, you know, as far as, you know, socks, towels, you know, before I got the music and stuff from the Koreans or the Chinese people who were selling music wholesale. So that's how they know you better than y'all know, you know, yourselves. But, you know, they had to get it because they was listening to what I was playing and they were burn it bootleg it or whatever and sell it to the masses and stuff but they didn't know unless i you know unless they heard it from me or whatever so the music was loud and clear long story short in order for me to get the music from the chinese people i had to uh, get the music from the chinese people from the arabs and then the djs and then the story was almost over as far as them you know not really needing me because they had i spent so much money and stuff long story short I was at the Dollar Tree store on 87 where, you know, it wasn't even no Dollar Tree store back in the day and stuff. You know, the Dollar Tree has went from a dollar to a dollar twenty five and stuff. And, you know, they very stingy and greedy and stuff like that. And I'm, you know, I, I went over there, you know, and I bought some items and I literally forgot that I had this on my head and stuff. So I'm going back and forth and stuff because I know, you know, the way they hook things up with me or whatever and stuff as far as surgery you know some kind of way if I speak you know they get they purchase for free or whatever or you know whatever because Nelly said you understand what I'm saying everything voice activated so that's got to be true you know what I'm saying and I know for sure I've been operated on at least three or four times so I know for sure you know that you know it's got to be and if you look at the movie bait with um Jamie Foxx and stuff that let you know too, and I believe they um did the same to uh Kanye West for real. I was looking at Kanye Kanye West video and stuff. You know, let me pause for me because you know I'm not a selfish person. Talk about Jeezy, you know what I'm saying real talk. Kanye West, you know his wife allegedly left him and stuff. And I remember like in um when I was staying in Uptown or whatever and stuff, 915 West Wilson apartment 409. You know, I seen a picture with Kanye and Kim Kardashian, you understand? He didn't look happy and stuff. And I think this was before he had children or maybe he just had one. I'm not sure. I don't know his business like that. But he was not happy and stuff, right? So, you know, he hung in there because, you know, we try to hang in there, right? We try to keep it real. Long story short, they divorced. And guess who go get the kids? Why? Because they made sure he, um, Kanye, uh, ended up in the psych ward because that's the routine that they do. To make it to, to discredit you and stuff, and then if he fight for his kids, who you think gonna get the children? Now he got a stepfather that's now a transgender. Who you think really, you understand? What I'm saying the children should be with Kanye or the stepfather. You know that's a transgender. I mean, I mean, see, this is how this is what they do. They want to get your children and stuff. And because I was a lesbian and stuff, they kind of, um, you know, they didn't kind of they 
kidnapped my ass one day. I was homeless and stuff. They made me homeless, and I was standing in front of the church on the west side, and the ambulance pulled up, and I thought they was going to help me or whatever and stuff, and they literally tried to rape me on a gurney to take my clothes off, and I don't know what exactly they did because I was tired as a motherfucker. I ain't going to lie. You know, you get tired being homeless, riding the trains back and forth. We walked the band, and it was cold. You know what I'm saying? I said, hey, I got this, you know, and I woke up, and um, it was a guy, an older guy, across the hall from me and a black guy and I woke up and I was on the other side you understand what I'm saying of the room in my own room and stuff but he was looking at me and stuff and I think they stole my eggs and I think they sacrificed my child they may have inserted it in somebody else but you can feel when somebody close to you dies or whatever and stuff because I felt a real sharp pain like somebody had died or whatever if you, if you know you know if you don't you don't i can't go through it all at one time so i'm gonna try to keep it simple for the ones who don't know google it search research and you know ask some of your so-called family members or whatever but they sacrifice children around this time it's the holidays this that and the third or whatever y'all know about um the Bohe bohemian owl or whatever and stuff so back to oprah i believe you know she used me to come up that's what she did and stuff and you know i waited thought she was gonna be real in the end or whatever and stuff but she didn't keep it real she kept it real with the people who she probably you know was sacrificing children with i don't know i know paul mooney talked about oprah and sacrificing children and stuff like that or whatever the case was and stuff you understand what i'm saying he made a joke out of it but i said in 1995 even when i joke i'm not joking you understand what i'm saying so back to kanye west now they didn't made it where he can't get a gun because he's what you know supposed to be crazy right so they got the kids they're gonna get the kids and he, he i was watching him a video and he was signing off autographs and you know he was being real nice a lot of white people around him you know what i'm saying devils that's it and he sounded you know he's trying to be you know trying to be cool right so he just signing autographs and i say now hey guy yeah like they really like him. they ain't like him and stuff because you know he's a gemini like me you gotta remember you know He's not, you know, that's, he's a genius. You understand what I'm saying? Put it like that. So, you know, he got done signing autographs. And I think he held on to the um, the marker just to see if they cared for real. Because they was like, hey, Kanye, hey, Kanye, hey, Kanye. And then do you know, you know, when he was about to go in the door or whatever, the white guy was like, hey, Kanye, can I get my marker back? Now, nothing happens in this world by mistake. I gave 87th street a lot of money a lot of money and stuff as far as you know savings and things of that nature or whatever and if you didn't have a job i sold cassette tapes music game is to be sold not told right but i sold tapes or cds or whatever the case was and stuff three for five you know or you know game deals and stuff and they got all that real 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 stuff you understand what i'm saying even when it was over with i had bags of cds left and i went and just dropped it and you know to show my appreciation but they don't care. The streets don't care because, you know, on to the next one, right? Well, that's their fault. They're going to wish they had a kid. Long story short, I'm at the Dollar Tree store. I forgot I had put this on here. I'm going back and forth about, you know, dollar items that then went up to, a, you know, a dollar and a quarter right before Christmas. You'll think they'll go up after Christmas, but they don't care, right? So, you know, I'm like, hey, where's my dollars at they gave me some change back like 90 something i said Where, where's the dollars at and stuff you know because you know i'm a budget i'm on a budget and they trying to take my social security check and this uh this guy he got good head look like jesus or whatever and they mind and stuff you know you know how motherfuckers oh he got good hair he's cute he want them motherfuckers and shit right so that's why i ain't got no hair now because them motherfuckers and shit you understand long story short you know i'm trying to figure it out jesus trying to figure it out you understand what i'm saying and then the girl was like you know you got the thing on your head. I said, ah, you understand? But it was actually a mistake and shit. You understand what I'm saying? But I felt just like Kanye West. Like, damn, I couldn't even get this motherfucker for free. And I'm asking the motherfucker, hey, hey, can I get a dollar? Just just, just trying to check the temperature, right? Can I get a dollar? So full of motherfuckers that's eating off my plate. Africans in the Dollar Tree store on 87. Never happened before. Never happened before. White people, Mexican, none of that. You understand what I'm saying? Now it's just the most and shit. So... They know who I am. They're using me, and they wanted to keep me to make an example out of and stuff so everybody can have something to laugh at. You understand what I'm saying? Now, when I first came in this trap building and stuff, I peeped their game a long time ago because, you know, I'm not stupid and shit. I was buying good, you know, food from jewels like fish and stuff, you know, trying to stay healthy or whatever because I don't drink drugs, smoke, or fornicate, right? And it's just me, and I'm just trying to figure out what's going on and stuff. 
they gave me hell when I was trying to work out and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? At Planet Fitness or whatever and stuff. Because they want me to be fat like the, my first ever YouTube video, Mary Mac vs. the Fat Black Oprah Winfrey. Real fucking talk. You understand what I'm saying? But that's not going to be me because I know who the fuck I am and shit. And she was talking to the pigs. Literally, when they said Oprah was talking to the pigs, she was talking to the police. That's what she was saying and shit. Real fucking talk. I'll get back to that. So the fish I had... You know how you put something in the refrigerator and you look and say, God damn, you know what I'm saying? I know that motherfucker was, you understand? You know you didn't eat it because you comparing yourself and stuff. But they want to make it seem like, oh, you crazy. No, because I came in this motherfucker one day and they tore down my goddamn cabinets and shit. So because they did that, I had to keep locks on my cabinets. This is the only place that I have, you know, have to keep locks on like I'm in prison or something and shit. I ain't go through all this when I went to prison and shit. Quiet as care. Real fucking talk. The first time. You know, it wasn't even this bad and shit, for real. So, you know, I knew they was hungry and shit. And they been getting their stimulus checks, buying cars or whatever and stuff. And, you know, they get the little money that I give them and stuff. And then, you know, they using me to bring people in and shit so they can get more money. They just want to use me and shit. And I'm like, like Oprah said on one of her shows, going to use me until she used me up. Well, I'm sure enough using you too. Long story short, I started this journey with $40. You know, I, I'm going to talk about the $40 that, you know, I want to talk about. It ain't the only money that I have. But it's the it's forty dollars that I have that I want to talk about and stuff, right? So I looked in my pocket, see how much I had left. That's what I do. I come in, put my shit on the counter like I'm at fucking police station and shit, real fucking talk. So I looked at the twenties and shit, and check it out. See what goes around come around, and I believe that it say MD at the top, right? Now I was at the first district police station May eighth on Mother's Day in 2016 or 2015, depending on what line they saying and shit, you know, leap year and all that. And I told the police, I said, my name is Mary Lee Davis, not Mary Davis. So you see the MD, you see the MD right here at the top. And this one right here is PG. All you need is an I and you got pig. You understand what I'm saying? So Oprah said she was talking to she was reading the Bible to the pigs and shit. Real fucking so. That's what she said. So she sold me out long before because she knew I didn't know the game and stuff. In 1995, when I gave her my story, you understand what I'm saying? Because she she said, um, who is it, you know, on her show in 1995 before I got railroaded and they threw me in the psych ward and stuff. You understand? She said, who it, on her show, she said, who is it that, you know, is, is a good difference or whatever in your life, makes a difference in your life or is it a good example? Whatever the fuck. You understand what I'm saying? And then I wrote a letter and I said, it's you, Oprah, that has a magnificent future. Now, I figure like this. If I talk to them for my higher power, my higher power talks to me for me. You understand what I'm saying? And they talk to me for, you know, my higher power. So I have this here inspiration thing right here. You know, I'm going to keep the $40. I'm going to see how long this motherfucker lasts on here and shit for real. Because every time I leave, you know, it's a problem. I was at Jewels and stuff. Trying to get a little few things and they wouldn't let me do the self out, self checkout or whatever because they want to irritate me. But everybody else checking out, no problem. I went three, four times to different self checkouts. I know I'm doing it right. And then they say, uh, you got to wait for assistance. I'm like, oh shit. So I went someplace else, you know, and, uh, you know, that wasn't good enough. So I didn't buy, I went to another line or whatever and stuff where, you know, people, you know, regular cashier or whatever and stuff. And, you know, I'm thinking it would be no problem, but I wasn't going to spend all that money either, you know. So I said, I put some shit back and it was 905, you know, the total or whatever. 1995 is when I gave over one from my um, three cassette tapes front and back or whatever. Long story short, you know, I'm minding my business, not bothering nobody. Here comes some old man tapping me on my back, you know, three times talking about, you know, you dropped a dime on the floor or whatever and shit. You understand what I'm saying? So I hit him back and told him, looking at him in his eye. Mind your fucking business or whatever the fuck I said. Yeah, you know, I don't know what the fuck I said. They know what the fuck I said. They know he disrespected me. Long story short, I got uh, these quarters right here. 2014 Great Smoky Mountains. Because these motherfuckers drink drug and they're smoking. And I got this other one. 2018 Apostle Island. The church down the street is called Apostle. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever. I, 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 Apostle. Whatever the fuck it is. Brazier and shit. And here go the fucking scriptures because I'm running out of fucking time. You see, I got five on me. Real fucking talk. All you crackhead, dope fans, ass motherfucker. My name is Mary Lee. You'll get a news report and originator of rap music. Right above the five is 37. Coming from behind, that's 73. I was in the Chicago Sun-Times newspaper at the age of 
six in 1973. So I'm game bangers five over here and six over here. Step your fucking game in. Game up. Daniel's chapter six. Peace.